didn't just get the latest updates from the Packers today. They also lined up to check out some of the changes for themselves. Fox 11's Eric Peterson talked to the fans about the changing look to the atrium and the upcoming season. Breakfast sizzled in the early morning air. Keith Larveld manned one of the first tailgate parties at Lambeau Field this year. Just some brats and I think some cheese curds. <laughs> Johnsonville, of course. Just on the way, Tom Rosam and his crew are from Batavia, Illinois. Uh, it's always the official kickoff of the season, and uh, we're happy enough to be here as shareholders to be able to get in there and enjoy the day. Fans climb the steps to the remodeled Oneida Nation gate. Sarah Shook is here for the first time. Oh, awesome. Yeah, this is awesome. Yep. Got stage four breast cancer, and this is my bucket list to come here. And my brother and sister in law made it possible. When the gates opened, shareholders flooded the concourse and the atrium. An escalator transported fans one level down to the new Packers Pro Shop. It's bigger than the, the one that they had before, and you can, I mean, they really do have the dis merchandise displayed really well. You can see everything. I just don't have enough money. I don't know where to start. There's uh, everything you can want is here. I like this truck full of cheese heads. And just outside, D.D. Thompson says the new Harlan Plaza takes a pretty good picture. The entrance is just magnificent, and moving the statues down, I think, is a wonderful idea. But not everyone is a fan of the new look. I don't like it as well as the old one, I think. Why is that? Uh, I don't know. It, it just doesn't seem like it has the class. Renovations aside, the big question is, how are the Packers going to do this season? Probably 12-4. and four. Super Bowl or no? Uh, no, probably not. I think Green Bay is going to win the Super Bowl. What do you think I'm going to say? In Green Bay, Eric Peterson, Fox 11 News. Well, that road to the Super Bowl begins this Saturday when the Packers training camp gets underway.